What's going on, Alabama football fans? Chris Daughtry here with the Alabama Football Report. Appreciate you guys joining us for today's show. We're going to be talking about the injury report that came out last night on Wednesday. Not a whole lot that we didn't already know. Alabama's is pretty short. Also, want to talk a little bit about the latest in recruiting cycle right now. You know, Alabama hosted over 100 recruits this past weekend when they played Georgia, and, you know, they really put – you know, a positive taste in a lot of these guys' mouths. So hopefully we can get some of those guys on campus further down the road as well. Before we get into that, though, guys, look, if you guys want some more commitments, especially in that 2026 class, they're really starting to focus on that 2026 class now. Look, the, the data doesn't lie. The more likes we get on videos, the more commitments Alabama will get. And, you know, you can't argue with math. You can't argue with science. It just is what it is. So if you want more commitments in that 2026 class, make sure you like today's video for me right now. First up, we're going to talk about Alabama side of the injury report. Kendrick Law, pretty much new. You know, we talked about it yesterday. And if you guys have your notifications on, you know, put out a short on this last night as well. He's listed as questionable with a lower leg injury. You know, they don't actually put, you know, specifically what those injuries are on that actual SEC availability report. But we know from the uh, you know SEC teleconference yesterday, that's what it was. That's what Kalen Abor said. And then Justin Jefferson also listed as probable. Didn't you know necessarily see anything during the game that I you know remember about Justin Jefferson? Think he's just kind of you know got banged up, kind of you know needs a couple of days before he really you know starts ramping it up and stuff. So I don't really think that's going to be a real big issue for Justin Jefferson playing in this weekend's game. Over to the Vandy side, you know, it looks like there's a lot. There's eight guys on there, but really none of these guys really play for Vanderbilt. So, you know, I, it's not really going to affect the game on their side, I don't think, unless something pops up, you know, later on in the week. So, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll get one tonight. We'll get one Friday and, you know, 90 minutes before the game as well. But, you know, most of these guys for Vanderbilt, they've played a little bit, but, um, you know, for the most part, there's no real starters for Vanderbilt on this injury report. Also, I want to talk about, you know, going into, you know, the recruiting talk. David Pollock, you know, former, um, you know, ESPN college football analyst, you know, specifically, you know, to the SEC, was on SEC Network a lot, you know, made some wild comments during that, uh, you know, Georgia versus TCU game a couple years ago with Nick Saban sitting right beside him saying Georgia, you know, is the king of college football right now. Well, he's not on ESPN anymore. He's doing a uh, podcast with Greg McElroy, and it's a pretty good podcast, honestly. I'm not trying to trash that or anything like that. But he did have some kind of wild comments going into that game against Alabama versus Georgia. This is exactly what David Pollock said last week about, you know, Georgia's recruiting pitch going into this game and after this game if they can win it. He said, in the South, if I'm Kirby, and they win this football game, it's like, look, look, you see – you see what I'm saying? They're not ready for this. This is a new reign. That's what they're going to do. You know exactly what they're going to do. I think Georgia can solidify themselves and say, we have won as many natties in the last two years as we have lost football games. And we just went into Tuscaloosa, and then you go, we're still the kings of college football. Uh, we will take your questions later and probably be right back to number one in the country. Oh, man, looking back on that, that's a big old yikes. Look, you know, for a long time, there's, you know, been a lot of talk about out there about these recruiting pitches that these college football coaches give to these recruits. And, you know, a lot of the times it is more of, you know, why you should not go to Alabama instead of why you should come to my school. And that's really the big thing that really irritates me about these things. I know that's the way it works. That is college football, but I mean, your play on the field should really, you know, be what you want recruits to see and, you know, what you want or what you want to say to them, you know, whether it comes to the, your coaching staff. Like, hype yourself up. I, I just never really understand downing another program, you know, even if they are one of the best programs, if not the best program in the country in Alabama. It's just something that you see a lot. And I'll be honest, 
it is, uh, you know, really just annoying because Alabama doesn't do that. They don't say, don't go to Georgia because this, this, then, and this. They show recruits what they can do at Alabama, how they can thrive, you know, how they can make money through NIL and not just getting a lump sum payday like a lot of other schools are doing out there too. So that's just, you know, one thing that is super annoying in my opinion. And, you know, what's the pitch going to be now that Alabama ended up winning that game? They look, you know, they made Georgia – uh, you know, just look absolutely terrible in that first half, really more or less in the first quarter. But, you know, uh, you know, they still got that safety um, and another touchdown in the second quarter as well. I'm pretty sure they scored nine points in the second quarter. But, I mean, what is your pitch going to be now? Oh, look what we did in the second half. Look what kind of adjustments we made. Look at the fight our players had. I Look, I, at the end of the day, you know, you lost the football game. You looked terrible in the first half. And, uh, look, I just think um, – you know, some of these rep recruiting pitches at the end of the day just get kind of wild when it comes to downing other schools. So let me know in the comments section, guys, who do you think will have the better recruiting class in that 2025 class? Alabama, you know, up there at number two right now. Let me know at the pinned comment. Type A if you think it's going to be Alabama. Type G if you think it's going to be Georgia. This is the pinned comment on today's video. You know what that means by now. If that ad comes here on YouTube, which it probably will, go down there and let me know who you think will have the better recruiting class in 2025. And I tell you what, Justice Terry has the opportunity to do one of the funniest things if he ends up committing to the Crimson Tide. He was supposed to visit this past weekend during that Georgia game, but, you know, the hurricane rolled through, really got a lot of Georgia, and it ended up his high school football game on Friday night got postponed to Saturday. So he wasn't able to make it for a visit. We'll see if Alabama can get him back on campus. But look, he's one of the best defensive linemen in that 2025 class, another five-star. Alabama could have a chance to add a third um, defensive lineman in that class because you don't want to forget about Steve Mbamua. Also, he's in JUCO right now. He will be attending Alabama next year. So they got him. They got London Simmons. I would also love to get Justice Terry in this class. We'll also talk about another defensive lineman in this 2025 class uh, later on in the show, so make sure you guys stick around. But first, I want to give a shout-out to our sponsor today, and that is Game Time. Game Time, look, guys, it's the only ticketing app I use in it's, you know, it's been a while since I've really used any other ticketing app. They even have a new feature now called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks, it filters out all the fluff to show you only the incredible deals on great seats. You don't have to waste time searching through thousands and thousands of tickets. Game Time Picks is just curation that makes it easier to save more on sports. They have concert tickets. They have comedy show tickets. They have theater. Anything you guys want, Game Time's got it. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the, the closer you get to the start of the event. So if it's like a last-minute thing, maybe you're going to be in uh, Nashville this weekend, not planning on going to the game, but last minute, you say, F it, why not? You can get last-minute tickets on Game Time. If you find tickets in the same section or and row for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. They have all-in prices, so you just toggle this feature on. You see the total up front, so there are no surprise fees at checkout. They also have those views from your seat. You get a panoramic view from your seat in the app before you buy your ticket, so you're not blocked out you know, by a foul pole if you're going to a baseball game or like some crazy seats right beside the press box. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app today, create an account, and redeem promo code Chad Sports for $20 off your first purchase. Check out GameTime.co for last-minute tickets. Terms do apply, but again, create an account and redeem promo code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, Chat Sports, for $20 off your first purchase. That link will be in the comment section and the description of today's video. Download Game Time today, because what time is it? It's Game Time. Alabama also has a couple of flip targets that they're looking at in this 2025 class. These first two guys right here, Andrew Olish and Ivan Taylor, both currently committed to Michigan, and Alabama would love to get both of them in this 2025 class. First off, let's go to Ivan Taylor, uh, the number six safety in this class. You know, Alabama doesn't really have a true safety in this recruiting class. You know, they were you know, going after the safety that flipped to Auburn. And it's still still going after him too, but, you know, kind of looking at some different options here. He's a four-star in this class. Definitely a guy that they would like. Andrew Olish, another tight end. 
um, that Alabama is looking at, the number four tight end in this class. Another top 100 player, two guys that Alabama would love to get in this class. And also, you have Taylor spent time this past weekend with Keon Sab, who you know, most notably also transferred from Michigan. So he knows what Michigan is like, and he also knows what Tuscaloosa is like. Maybe, you know, we can see him, you know, kind of getting his head a little bit and, you know, share some positive information that Alabama is the right place to be. Two more flip targets here for the Crimson Tide. We know Jaden Harmon. He was committed to Alabama, you know, for a while, and, you know, Tennessee is really hitting it hard with the NIL perspective. They've got a... Uh, you know, much bigger deal, let's just say, you know, for Jaden Harmon. So, uh, you know, we'll see if that remains, you know, the, the biggest factor for him. He might stay in that uh, 2025 class for Tennessee. But, you know, if you want to win championships, I would say come to Alabama. You also got Jaden Breaker or Bracker. I, I would assume it's Breaker. Uh, you know, you take off the R and it's Baker. So um, <laughs> he's a three-star uh, linebacker in this class, a little bit lower ranked, but, you know, He's committed to LSU right now. You know, he's got some SEC offers. So definitely another guy who, uh, you know, is a pretty solid talent. If, you know, other SEC teams are going after him, I would say uh, you should be going after him too. So another chance for you guys to get down in the comment section to be interactive on today's show. Who do you guys want to flip? Whether it's the 2025, maybe there's somebody in that 2026, 2027, whatever um, class. Who do you guys want to flip? Let me know in the comment section of today's video. We've also got another very interesting player that I want to touch on on today's show. Christian Ingram, somebody who kind of popped up on the radar, uh, you know, not too long ago, honestly, didn't have a lot of, um, you know, offers going into his senior season. But right now, man, you look at this offer list, Alabama, Clemson, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. There's a lot of teams out there, very, very solid programs that want this kid. He's 6'6", 290 pounds, so you know, he might not be ranked as high. You know, I, I still think his film looks pretty impressive. But, you know, 247 Sports has him as a three-star right now. He's not ranked in the composite rankings, so those are 247 Sports rankings down there. But, I mean, you look at his frame, you know, he's got a really big build. I think, you know, if he can get into, uh, you know, this Alabama program, Freddie Roach, somebody who he really likes a lot, can, uh, you know, definitely help him improve on his game. Also of note, looks like he's going to be trying to come back for an official visit during that Missouri game on October 26th. Uh, October 26th. So we will definitely keep you guys updated on uh, Christian Ingram here. A couple more of Alabama's 2025 commitments so far right now have shut down their recruitment after that game against the Georgia Bulldogs. A.K. Deer, you know, he was committed to Ole Miss for a long time. Ends up flipping, or, well, I guess, I guess he decommitted from Ole Miss first. And then a couple, he, you know, took his visit to Alabama. Took a couple of months just to really figure out what he wanted to do. Ends up committing to the Crimson Tide. And, you know, kind of comes on a good week. Alabama uh, beats Georgia and Ole Miss loses to Kentucky. So kind of a funny thing there. Justin Hill, the Cincinnati native, also shutting it down. Duke Johnson and Abdul Sanders also shutting it down for the Crimson Tide. Looking here at some of the notable 2026 targets that were on campus this past weekend. Like I said, Alabama hosted, you know, over 100 guys on campus this weekend. So we're not going to go through all of them, but I think there are some very notable guys to look at. Anthony Jones, um, I think on three actually has him as the number one ranked player in the country in that 2026 class. So, you know, definitely a, you know, very notable guy to know. I think he's down there from St. Paul's, if, if I remember that correctly. Five-star, number six overall from 247 Sports Composite Rankings and the number one edge. Sedarian Morgan, uh, number 14 wide receiver in this class, was on campus as well. Alabama, you know, they're pretty much shut down in 2025 on wide receiver targets. Um, you know, maybe there's somebody that they wouldn't say no to if they really wanted to flip, but, you know, definitely a notable guy to look at there. Zion Gibson, uh, one of the best corners in this class, number 44 overall, so Definitely, you know, a chance anyways that he could possibly get up into that five-star, you know, um, you know, category coming up here. You know, he's got this season, his junior season, and next year to, uh, you know, really improve as well. And then you got Bodney Cleveland, number eight defensive lineman. Man, this is a kid that I really, really like a lot. You know, if you go and look on his uh, 
Twitter page and just scroll back through the months, through the summer. This kid's been putting in a lot of work, and he's getting a whole lot better. Got a lot of offers, so uh, I would love to see Alabama get that kid in their 2026 class as well. Uh, the last three guys that we want to talk about here, Jordan Edmonds, he's the number 11 cornerback. So Alabama definitely going after some corners, definitely going after some safeties in this class. Obviously, Tyler Atkinson, five-star number one linebacker. You're pretty much always going to go after those guys, especially in this Kane Womack defense. They love linebackers. Whether it's middle linebacker, outside linebacker, they use those guys a lot in a lot of different ways. And you also have five-star safety Braylon Womack. Um, you know, like I said, Alabama's trying to get a couple safeties in this uh, 2025 class. If not, maybe they can, you know, get maybe somebody out of the transfer portal or also, you know, really just bulk up in that 2026 class. So another guy that we are definitely continuing to, uh, you know, follow in that 2026 recruiting cycle. Make sure you guys are subscribed right here to the Alabama Football Report. We will be live an hour before kickoff for Alabama versus Vanderbilt. So come hang out with us. Make sure you guys are subscribed. That's youtube.com slash at Roll Tide TV.